This is John from Clean Code Cast, and welcome to my YouTube tutorials. Hey everyone, in this course, we are going to start by going over how to create a Gradle project and choosing Kotlin language for building an application such as a web server with KTOR as our framework. We will first initialize a new Gradle project, choosing the options to start with. Run the project and change the default message being printed. Next, bring in the KTOR framework and create and run a basic web server. Note, in this series, I will say something like, open the body, which is saying open close curly braces after a function call, like so. Inside your terminal, let's create a new directory and name it Gradle Project. Now, cd into it. Type in gradle init. After a few seconds, you will be prompted for options. Choose number 2, application, then number 4 for Kotlin Lang, and number 2 again for Kotlin DSL, leaving the project and package the default name. Because we chose to initialize a Gradle project using their CLI, this will scaffold a base project for us, i.e simply saying hello world. You can see this by typing in the project root directory, gradle run. Give it a few seconds and you will now see hello world printing in the terminal. Now we can open our project in the code editor. Navigate to source, main, kotlin, and open the app.kt file. Here you will see the greeting, hello world. This is being called within the main function. We can change the return string to say, hi, I'm a Kotlin application, and switch back to the terminal. Type gradle run, just as we did before. You will see the new message being printed out. We are going to bring in the KTOR framework into our project. Open your browser and navigate to ktor.io. Click on Quick Start, select Gradle on the left side, scroll down till KTOR Dependencies. You will see the version and the package. Copy the package string inside the double quotes and switch back to the project. Open the build.gradle.kts file inside the dependencies block, type implementation, parentheses, and paste in the string changing the version param to 1.3.0, the version at the time of this recording. Switch back to the browser, scroll down, and copy the Netty Engine package string. Doing the same as we did before, pasting that into the build file and replacing the version param. Go back to the app.kt file, remove the code in the main function and the app class, leaving just the package and the main function. Let's start by importing the embedded server and calling it inside the main function. Now it wants the engine, so we can import the Netty engine and pass that in the first param of the function, and port 8080 for the second param. Now we can open up the body of the server, and at the top, import the routing package. Inside the body, type in routing, and open the body, add a git call, with a forward slash as the route, and open the body of that. At the top, import response, and HTTP, and inside the git body, type call dot respond text, passing in hello world string as the param. At the end of the server body, call start, passing in wait equals true. Whoops, looks like instead of HTTP, we need application for the import. Now we can switch back to the terminal and run the Gradle project. 
This will take a few seconds. In your browser, navigate to localhost colon 8080 and you will now see hello world message. There you have it. We created a very basic web server using the KTOR framework with a single route returning the string hello world, as you saw printed out in your browser by visiting the URL. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when new videos are released. For this series, I plan on bringing in Jackson for the JSON parsing and showing how to bring in post request data into a data class as well as responding with a data class for JSON output. As always, this is John from Clean Codecast signing off.